you have another UFC fight? I mean, you've been in this organization for what, over a decade now at this point? Yes, sir. Yeah, since, uh, oh, 2006 maybe? I think the Ultimate Fighter was in 05. It's crazy. I mean, we spoke with uh, opponent earlier, and he's like, I admire the fact that you can do this. I wish I could be in the organization for this long. Like, how much longer do you want to stick around just as long as you can keep doing this thing? Yeah, you know, as long as I can compete at a high level, which I think I can keep doing for at least a couple more years. Uh, you know, I still got some fight left in me. Um, I've, I've had some injuries through my career that's kind of slowed down, you know, and I haven't been able to, like, compete as much as I wanted to consistently. So um, hopefully, you know, I'm almost 40, so or I just turned 38. So, you know, two more, two more years maybe, we'll see what happens, right? Yeah. Kind of taking it one fight at a time right now, um, seeing where my body, my body takes me, really, as long as I can stay healthy. What gets you out of bed every day like to do this? Because you know, some guys it's the title, some guys you know, it's climbing the ladder, et cetera, et cetera. You've kind of seen all areas of this game. So what's like the motivation? Uh, well, my, my wife will kick me in the butt if I don't get out of it. No. Uh, um, you know, gosh, just, just still having the hunger to get in there and compete. And you know, coming up short, you know, your last fight always kind of drives you to, to get back in there and, you know, um, I feel like I'm always improving. I'm, I'm always a student of the game. You know, I'm learning all the time. I'm, you know, continually just trying to get better. You know, I'm coaching and, you know, just, I love it, man. I'm a, I'm a lifetime martial artist. I'm not going to stop until I have to. Yeah, is 205 the, the permanent home for the remainder of your career, you think? You know, unless I do a 215, maybe I'll go up to that. <laughs> but uh, definitely not going back down to 85, man. It's just too big of a cut. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest light heavyweight, but I feel really great at light heavyweight, and uh, I'm definitely staying here for for the you know current future. Just to build on what was said when we spoke last week, you mentioned there was times you know in the past year where you thought maybe you weren't coming back. Um, how close were you to maybe saying, "Hey, that's it"? Well, you know, I didn't know with with my knee injury that I had last time. I mean, I've had three ACL surgeries. A lot of guys have a hard time coming back from one. So, but these ga these days you see it more, you know, with, with the other sports and stuff. Uh, yeah, I thought about hanging them up. I actually had to go get a job working construction all summer to pay my damn bills. So, at that, after doing that for a couple months, you know, I really wanted to get back in here. I was like, man. First, I thought, oh, getting a regular job ain't so bad, but yeah, it sucked. <laughs> so, no plumbing work, right? No, no plumbing work. No. I was, driving heavy equipment and stuff, which wasn't too bad, but still just being out in the elements and, and having to work, you know, under like a dickhead boss and just, yeah, not cool, man, uh, for me at this moment, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of working on getting in the fire department. Actually, I got a bunch of buddies who are firefighters, so um, I can do that and still fight possibly too, so we'll see what happens kind moving like forward. Kind too. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see what happens moving forward. How difficult is that? I mean, you've been in this organization, like you said, since 2006, 20 plus fights. Like, don't you feel like you should have enough security at this point that you're not having to go look for? Anything? Yeah, unfortunately, that's not the case, right? Because, I mean, the money's getting better, but like when I first got in 12 years ago, you know, the money wasn't that good. I mean, right. you coming off the Ultimate Fighter, I think I was getting 12 and 12, which, you know, after taxes and all that, you pay your coaches. What is that? Like maybe 15 grand or something? Uh, even if you fight three times in a year, 45 grand, you got a family and stuff, that ain't, that ain't nothing, right? So you can't really save money. It's kind of like you're living paycheck to paycheck. So, um, And then again, having some injuries. I was out for almost two years back in 2009 and 2010 with knee injuries. So, you know, it's just, I mean, I have some investments and some things going, but not enough to where I could, you know, um, just like retire basically and not have to work. Uh, there's a few guys who are getting there now. It's nice to see some of these guys are making real money that will last them the rest of their lives. So um, by the time I'm gone, you'll see more of that, you know, maybe with um, with some more security like retirement or some type of pension stuff, you know, with, with the possibility of unions coming into place. But I think I'll be gone by the time any of that happens, most likely. So um, I'm just going to keep doing what I can, trying to make as much money as I can and uh, – you know, stack it away, saving for my kids' college funds, um, just doing what I can do. Do you ever take, like, younger fighters around the gym or anything, like, under your wing a little bit and say, like, this is, you know, maybe what I did right, what I did wrong, what you should do, et cetera? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I'm a coach, too, at Gracie Baja in Portland. Uh, you know, I talk to some of the young guys about, 
you know, getting their credit right, you know, and just things like that you don't think about when you're young, um, how to, you know, start their own company like an LLC so they can write off their, you know, gym dues and write off their gas and their mileage and things that a lot of young guys don't pick up right away. So just doing those little tricks can help, help you save a lot of money during, you know, during the journey. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, being at 205 now, um, I'm sure you're not thinking about the title at the moment, but that top of the division is about to get a big shape up. It seems like Colby is going to be strapped with Jones is fighting Gustafson. What do you just make of all that thing? First, do you feel like it's fair to take the belt from Colby at this point? I don't think it's fair to take the belt from him, no. Absolutely not. Um, but, you know, um, it, ain't, it ain't my choice. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really pay attention to too much of that right now. Taking, like I said, one fight at a time. But in this division, man, if you can run two or three wins in a row, it's like you can be right up there, you know. Um, the, the, there's not a lot of turnover. It's kind of a lot of the same guys sticking around at 205, you know, a few of us old dogs, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, John's coming back. People love him. He brings big paychecks in for everybody. So it is what it is there, right? Yeah, this could be one of those bonus fights for you too, right, in terms of your matchup? Absolutely. Um, that's why I'm excited about this fight. I think uh, – you know, John is a fun guy to watch. I enjoy watching him fight. He's an entertainer. Um, he comes out to, to throw down and get after it. And so I think we're going to have a lot of fun out there. And uh, the crowd's going to enjoy it. So um, we'll hopefully uh, we get a bunch of bonuses. <laughs> you had mentioned, you know, kind of knee injuries, the, obviously the accident that you went through. How's training going over the past year? <clears throat> Training's been really good, man. It uh, feels good to be, you know, 100% healthy. Um, I want to say it's some of the best I've ever felt coming into a fight, which is kind of crazy, you know, but uh, man, I just feel amazing compared to the last fight, um, coming in with injuries and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> it's been great, man. I'm ready to rock. I mean, you had mentioned that Gian likes to push the pace, gets hard. Are you going to look to take the fight down to the ground? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the fight where it goes. You know, I feel like I'm a little better than him everywhere. Um, we'll stand and bang it out and uh, have some fun, you know. If something's there, I'll take it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty well-rounded. Um, I got a pretty good submission game as well um, as my clinch game, my takedowns. He's pretty tough to take down, though, so um, it's not going to be something that I'm going to try to, you know, expend a ton of energy on trying to, you know, trying to take his big ass down. I mean, going forward, you get a win on Saturday. What's next for you? Like I said, one fight at a time right now, man. Um, really, that's the way I'm looking at it. You know, we'll reassess things after this fight, me and my coaching staff and, uh, you know, my family, and just kind of see where we're at. Looking back, there's a, a lot of Ultimate Fighter alumni on this card. Yourself a finalist, Court McGee a winner, Michael Johnson. When you look at the show now, does it still have a place in the uh, MMA landscape? I don't, really don't think it does. I know they're talking about ending it, you know, and some of these last shows were kind of, you know, I was kind of disappointed with some of the quality of people they brought in there. I don't know. Um, with the contender now, it kind of takes place of that a little bit, Dana White's show. Um, you know, and all the great feeder shows that they have out there are picking up these guys, so I think it's harder for them to find, you know, quality guys to be on the Ultimate Fighter, so. Um, I mean, I hate to see it end because it's been going for so long. It's a great, it's a great thing, but uh, and it's a great opportunity for young fighters to get their name out there. Um, but there's all, you know, things come to an end, so. Thanks, Ed. Yep.